Hey guys, welcome back to DCS. And welcome back to the DCS F18C Hornet guys. So in today's video guys, we'll be looking at the Pave Way 2 laser guided bombs. And specifically, we'll be dropping uh, the 500 pound GBU-12s. So as you can see, we're carrying four GBU-12s and we'll be dropping them with the help of our JTAC. Um, it is pretty much similar to the other bombs except as you can see on the left DDI it's labeled 82 GL laser guided so we're going to go ahead and turn on the master arm on master mode to air to ground I'm just going to go ahead and select the 82 LG now we're going to be dropping them uh, dropping these these laser guided bombs uh, in CCRP so we're going to go ahead and designate a waypoint now if you guys don't know how to how to drop a, a bomb in CCRP you're going to have to look at my uh, previous video now, because we don't have uh, the ability to uh, laze for ourselves, ourselves, we're gonna go ahead and ask for a uh, a JTAC to laze for us. So we're gonna have to contact the uh, Axeman again. Okay. It's taking a while. There we go. Okay, so we go ready to copy. And there we go. He's giving us the laser code. Basically, it's the same thing. 1688 all the time. And we're attacking the 4072s again, this time with uh, with GBU 12s basically. Okay, so let's go ahead and set it up. So all you have to do here is you have to uh, select code on the left DDI and then press in 1688 on the uh, UFC, and that's it. But it only marks the uh, laser for one of the bombs. You need to go select the other bombs as well by selecting the step function, and then just entering the code again. So we'll step again, and then press enter, and there we go until all of the uh, your GBUs have been marked with the 1688 as you can see down there on the left DDI. Now in terms of the profile we're going to be dropping them as I said in, in CCRP which is basically auto so we'll go mode auto and then we'll go e-fuse you can use m-fuse or e-fuse as well so we'll go uh, e-fuse and we'll go instantaneous so it's pretty much very very similar to the uh, other bombs. Now we're going to go ahead and designate waypoint 1 as a target and then we're just going to be now from here on it's going to be exactly the same as uh, dropping in the other bombs except we need the laser guidance from the uh, from the JTAC so it's a basically a, a combination of uh, firing the laser mavericks and dropping the bombs in CCRP So we're going to go ahead and turn around, head towards uh, waypoint 1, and then we'll report IP inbound, and then we'll request for the laser to be turned on, and then we're going to go ahead and drop the first bomb. Now once we get our uh, targeting pods, the flare pod or whatever it is, we'll be able to designate, uh, we'll be able to laze targets ourselves, so we will ne we won't need a, uh, a JTAC to uh, laze targets for us. We'll ask for laser on. Dodge one one. Laser on. Laser on. There we go. Now, in terms of the uh, hard symbology, it's very similar to the uh, auto drop that we did before. As you can see, we have a release time. We have the ASL. Uh, we have to put the flight path marker on the ASL and then drop uh, when the time comes. Now, in, in, when you're dropping uh, laser guided bombs in this fashion. Uh, the higher you are, the better it is. The higher altitude uh, that you have, the, the more time you're giving to the uh, guided bomb to correct itself onto the target. Now, because the bomb does not have its own engine, like it doesn't, it doesn't propel itself, so it's just gliding basically. It's, it will be gliding down. So here it is, seven seconds. I'm holding down the pickle button. Here comes the release cue. 
And there we go. Pickle. And we can watch it go down. There it is. And you can see we have a 15 second TTI, time to impact. Let's go ahead and put the aircraft into a barometric altitude hold. And let's uh, see if we can spot those tanks. And there they are. There are the tanks. And we'll watch for the impact. So it's very straightforward as you guys can see. There we go. Nice. So um, we'll go ahead and drop the other ones as well. But I'm going to try and first clear this uh, this master warning inlet icing problem and then we'll try and drop the uh, other remaining two of the three bombs at, a d at different altitudes now as I was saying the higher you the higher you are in terms of altitude the better it is for the uh, laser guided bomb because as I said the, the bomb doesn't propel itself like it's just gliding down so if you're higher you're giving the bomb a better chance to uh, once it uh, locks onto the uh, laser reflection to guide itself using its fins to the target. I've heard that you, you, you the lowest altitude that you can drop one of these is about two and a half thousand feet, because at that at, at altitude of two and a half thousand feet, you basically aren't giving the uh, the uh, bomb to correct itself, basically. So let's go ahead and pick up our second bomb. And there we go. Now we're at about eighteen to twenty thousand feet, so this is like. Uh, this is perfect. It's quite high, actually, quite, quite a high altitude. Now, this is one of the uh, benefits of dropping a uh, laser-guided weapon. You're you're pretty safe from uh, from air defenses down there. But uh, in air defenses, simple air defenses such as AAA or man pads, nothing sophisticated. So here's our tanks again. Three tanks remaining. There we go. Very accurate, very, very accurate uh, uh, weaponry. So let's go ahead and drop the altitude. And we'll try and drop this uh, third bomb at about uh, 10,000 feet. Now, as I said, if you're, if you're too low, like below, below 2,500 feet, you probably, the, the bomb will probably miss because you're not giving it enough time to correct itself. Because if you watch the, uh, the bomb drop, you can see that at a certain altitude it picks up the uh, reflections from the laser and then it begins to correct itself and if you don't give it enough uh, space it just will miss completely so let's go ahead and line up on the uh, ASL so we're at about 10,000 feet now Six seconds to release. And there we go. So we'll pull to the left. Two tanks remaining. There we go. Excellent. Very, very accurate weaponry. The, one of the benefits of carrying uh, guided weapons is that you need to carry less tonnage of weapons. You can achieve um, as much, uh, you know, damage, but with less uh, ordnance, really. I mean, if you can imagine, compare World War II with the, uh, with the Gulf War. I mean... You can see that you had to, back in World War II, they had to drop a lot of ordnance to achieve maybe a quarter of the, uh, of the damage inflicted, for example, in, uh, in the uh, Gulf War. So let's go ahead and drop this one, the last bomb, at uh, 7,000 feet. Oh, 
hopefully 7,000 feet isn't uh, too low. But as I said, I've heard like I've heard. I'm not sure. Like I haven't tried it myself. But two and a half thousand feet is the is the hard deck, the limit. Fifteen seconds to release. Now we're gonna try and speed. Up. I'm gonna try and speed up to five hundred knots as well. See how how much the speed will affect the accuracy. So there we go, five hundred knots and pickle. So as you can see, the bomb has less and less uh, altitude to work with to try and correct itself. Ah, there we go. Excellent. Perfect. Bullseye. Well, that's it, guys. That's, that's about it for the... Uh Way 2 family of uh, laser guided weapons. Obviously, today we dropped the uh, 500 pound GBU 12s. There's also the uh, GBU 16, which is the uh, 1000 pound, and there's also the GBU 10, which is the uh, 2000 pound. But, however, as I said, one of the uh, benefits of carrying guided weapons is that you, you need to you, you can carry less ordnance and achieve the same results. If we do some BDA now, we can see that all four tanks are destroyed very very accurately which is perfect yeah and that's about it guys that's that's all you need to uh, do at the moment for the F-18C Hornet and uh, dropping laser guided bombs and with the addition of the uh, GBU-12 with the Paveway 2 family of uh, laser guided bombs for the Hornet the Hornet can now begin to uh, you know uh, act as a uh, fighter slash attacker now you can pretty much go ahead and attack targets and then fight your way against air targets as well well guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye